Hi there, Mark here from The Body Mechanic. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, fairly easy exercises to do to keep the middle part of your back, your thoracic spine, mobile. So the thoracic spine is the, uh, the part of your spine between the base of your neck and the top of your lower back. That's where your rib cage attaches in. Um, and because of that, it's a fairly stiff area of your spine anyway. But the problem nowadays is everyone spends too much time sitting in chairs and sitting in the car and over a period of time sitting down too much tends to make their thoracic spine curved or a kyphosis like that. What we're going to do is try and help do some exercises which open up that, uh, that thoracic spine. So some thoracic... Right, so to do these exercises you're going to need uh, a couple of bits of equipment. A foam roller, so a 90 centimetre long foam roller at uh, 15 centimetres in diameter. One of those you'll need. Um, the other thing that we, that we use a lot for, um, for sort of self-massage and trigger point massage in the clinic area are these uh, back balls they're called. Uh, so it's a rubber, fairly firm rubber ball with, um, it's got two balls stuck together. Uh, they're great for getting into the spine muscles but also calf muscles and glutes and things. If you haven't got access to one of those you can um, fairly easily produce a makeshift one. So this is just two tennis balls that I've held together with strapping tape. It's not quite as firm as the back ball, but it still does it, it does a reasonably good job. Um, so you can certainly use one of those temporarily. Let's start with the foam roller. Um, so the idea with the foam roller is we want to try and open up the chest and improve the extension in the thoracic spine to get you out of that position and more into this position. So the first one is just lying on it. So lying on it lengthways. So make sure it's under your bum so that your uh, spine's nice and supported. Also under your head so you're not putting too much stress on your neck. And then with your arms, you just drop them out sideways. And you should feel that like you get a nice stretch in through here, so in through the chest muscles. But it's also obviously getting that thoracic spine into an extended position. And you can hold there for as long as you're comfortable. It's a good position to watch TV for, uh, for a short period of time. You might be there for two or three minutes or anywhere up to 20 minutes, depending. The, uh, the important thing is that it, it remains comfortable, not painful. Uh, the other thing you can do with your hands there is lift them up over your head and then you get a little bit more extension again, slightly different range of movement and again hold that for a, a sustained period of time in a comfortable position. So the other exercise you can do is sideways. So we're using it a bit more like a massage to get into the, uh, to get into the muscles. In this case, pop it under your middle part of your back, lift your bum up in the air, arms over your, cross over your chest. Roll up and down until you find a stiff section, and if something's really stiff, then just sort of stick there and work over it forwards, forwards and backwards. Imagine like it's links on a bike chain, and what you're trying to do with the massage is just free up those links. Each link you need to try and move independently. So the, the more mobile mobility you have through the thoracic spine, the easier it is on the whole chain. If you have any problems with your neck or you're worried about staring up your neck doing this, just hold your head in your hands. So keep your head up, and again you can just roll up and down there all the way down to that uh, sort of to the lower thoracic spine or upper lower back and again just find the sore spots and then work on them. To get uh, or target the muscles more specifically that's where the back ball or the two tennis balls is really useful uh, so because of this it will because of the shape of the ball it'll get nicely into those muscles that go up on each spine each side of the vertebral column so again what we want to do is use it like a trigger point so you find the sore spots in the muscle and massage them it's like having a sports massage therapist get fairly really stuck into the muscles uh, in this case you need to be on a fairly firm floor so a wooden floor or, or a carpeted floor not on a soft mat because otherwise it will sink in too much uh, you pop the balls on the floor fly on top of them just get them somewhere around that thoracic spine then what I usually do here is put my hands in under my pelvis just to keep that lifted up and then you roll forwards and backwards and here it's a bit more of a uh, like a, a trigger pointy sort of pain so it really does target those muscles so again find the sore spot roll up and down for about 30 seconds and then you can move slightly further up and find another sore spot and again anywhere between one and one and two minutes is, is usually plenty of this and the idea is little and often <coughs> excuse me so try and do it on a daily basis you're better off doing this for five minutes a day or ten minutes a day rather than trying to do one hour all in one go and then forgetting about it for the rest of the week the stiffness in your spine is usually caused by sitting at work or sitting in the car which you're probably doing on a daily basis so if you do the exercises daily it'll be much more effective at, uh, at keeping the body and the thoracic spine loose